Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna, this is my wonderland. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would pop a red heart down below so I can welcome you. If you are new, please consider subscribing, hitting that like bell. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Today, I have a crafting project for you. Hey guys, right, I have finished my breakfast um, and I am ready to go. So today I am going to be making plastic wallets for my new wallet. So this is actually a Filofax. It was Rainbow Budgets that set me onto this. So I will link her channel below. She has a gray one. I have this beautiful green turquoisey one. And what she does is because she is a cash budgeter, Inside here, she has different plastic wallets that have different labels on them. So like one for groceries, one for petrol, one for miscellaneous, um, one for her kiddos. Um, so that is how she splits up her money into different categories. And I don't have all of those categories because we do our finances a little bit differently. Matthew um, gets all the groceries on his Tesco's credit card. So we get more points that way. So I don't have... Um, I don't have a lot of um, things that I buy particularly, but I wanted a few wallets, um, plastic wallets in here so that I could split my money up and have it identified as what it is for. So it just keeps it straight in my head. So we're gonna be making some wallets for this. Now, this is, um, I got this off of Amazon. It's a Filofax, so you see it says Filofax there. And this, um, as usual with Filofax, it's a diary. So it comes with a diary. I've taken the diary out, but inside you will see it's got the ring binder. It's got the little, I've left that in there. I don't know why I like that. Um, it's got an elasticated section here, which I've got some cards in. So this is just a material elastic. And then it has got um, another piece of elastic there for a pen. You've got card section and a zip wallet there. And then you have got card section and a full length flat part there as well. So what I'm going to be doing is making some plastic wallets that clip into here. So I actually watched a video on how to do this on YouTube. So if I can find it, I will link that below as well. Um, but I have got my laminating pouches here um, and I am going to create some pouches for this wallet. So I am going to give you a top down view so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and we're gonna have some fun seeing if my laminator will hold up to the task. So let's go. Okay guys, so here I am with my sheets and my ruler. I have two sheets here, so this is going to make three wallets, and um, that's what I'm going to attempt to do first. So we have um, two laminating sheets, so I'm just going to move one out the way. So this is the sheet that I'm going to cut up, and I have measured my mini um, and measured the wallet, and I have decided to try to do nine and a half centimeters by eighteen and a half centimeters. So that is what I'm gonna do as the outside dimension. So what I'm gonna do with the inside dimensions is I'm actually going to do 18 by eight. And hopefully that will be enough to contain the money. So let's get going. So I'm just going to measure out the eight centimeters. So this is going to form the inside of the wallet. Just going to mark there and on the eight. And then I'm going to go nine. nine down so one two three four five six seven eight oh no we're going 18 sorry 16 so 18 is <laughs> 18 is just here and then across again to the 
Oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. That one there, I think. Okay, so it's going to be down there. Now, I don't know what the best pen to use, really, for marking these, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to Sharpie might have been a better option. But I just want to give it a line. that I can cut I don't want it to leave a mark really so it's kind of cool that I can rub this out looks like it'll be pretty easy to rub out so I'm just gently marking it and I'm going to do three of those and then I'm going to cut them out so I'll be right back I have my three envelope inserts here and you may have seen my rookie error of um, putting it in my <laughs> in my cutting machine and getting the ink all over the cutting machine so that was clever of me um, but I'm just going to clear up the outside of the envelopes where the ink is still visible and it is a watery ink, so it's coming off pretty easy. So what you do with these once you have done, cleared up your mess if you've made any, maybe there is an easier way to mark them, or maybe you can just use the cutting machine if it's got a um, which has a ruler kind of embedded in it so if you're clever enough to work out how that works you could always use that um, but there we go so those are my extra bits so now we have these three wallets and what you have to do with these is obviously if these go through the laminating machine like this, what will happen is they will fuse together and we don't want that because we want to be able to put our money inside. So to make that not happen, we have to take the two sections apart, she says, she can... It may have been easier for me to have taken it apart once previously. There we go. So you just peel them apart and this side is rougher than this side. This is the shiny side. So you want to put shiny sides together and then they won't fuse together through the machine. So that's one. and the blue pen was a mistake should have used the laminating um, the guillotine lines because I can still see it but never mind so three so now that we have got those three facing and I have two cats so of course there's going to be a cat hair in there because we can't do anything without the cats getting involved so now we take our other sheet 
And I'm just going to turn my laminator on as it warms up. So now we have the laminating sheet and what we're going to do is we're going to put these three items inside the laminating sheet. So peel those apart and we want to leave enough room on one side of the sheet that we can punch holes in. So line these up there, one, bloody cats, three and then we need to lay this over the top so just make sure that it is that the top and bottom are lined up on top of each other, which is the fiddly a bit. And so we now have our wallet sandwiched between the laminating sheet and I've left a gap up here and I've left a gap here and I've left a gap down this side so that I can punch holes in it and put it in my wallet. So this is the wallet that I have. I will link it below um, and I haven't actually got a hole punch that will punch holes to the dimensions of the ring binder in here yet. So the hole punching will come another day. But my laminator is now ready, so I am going to carefully pick this up and put it through the machine. So this is just a cheap laminator, I'm not sure how well it's going to go. Oh, it's chewed it up. Don't know why we're not having a jam. Okay, so we can see this edge has actually done really well, but it got jammed, so I am going to have to be a little bit more careful. Um, so I will do this again. We will come back when I am ready to laminate, and hopefully this won't happen, this will. Let's try again.
so you see that I have redone it I have flattened this quite a lot put my hands over it to try and stick the two sides together a little bit better I'm going to move the laminator in and try again so I'm going to have it the other way around so let's see if I can do it this way And maybe I can help guide it through a little better if I do it this way. So it curled up the edge here, which I think is how it got caught last time. So it seems to be going through better this time. So what you can do is if you have a Cricut machine, you can do um, some vinyls that you can sandwich between the layers as well with labels. Um, I haven't got a Cricut machine, so I'm just going to do some pieces of paper that I'm going to slide into the front of the wallets, um, which I will do off camera, and I will show you um, the final result. So just waiting for the end to come through. There is a few areas of sort of heat spots, maybe that's a bubble there. Um, which I have heard can happen. Like I said, my laminator is a cheap laminator. Um, it hasn't got any settings on it and I have heard people say that for sort of different thicknesses of lamination, um, you can choose different um, results on um, other laminators, but you can kind of see those gray spots there. Those are little heat marks um, it isn't on any either of the others a little bit there um, but we'll see when we cut it how that works out for us so let's turn the machine off and we'll bring the board back So here is our final sheet. Now we have to um, make the cuts. So when you are cutting this sheet out, one side you want to cut right on that very tippity top edge so that you can open the wallet. And the other sides you want to try and leave just a little bit down the sides of um, not touching this sort of rectangle that you've made in the middle so it keeps the sides sealed. And then we're going to leave some excess on the other long side so that we've got room for the hole punches along there. So bring in the cutting machine. I'm just going to separate them out. I think I'm actually going to try and leave the long edge of this one that's here um, on this side because of that curled edge. So I'm going to just cut this one quite close to the side of the other two. So this will be my first side cut. So you can see there oh, that I've just left a little bit so that it's got something to keep that seal in. And you'll see the difference there that I have cut right across the top of this, but I've left this gap. And now I'm just going to trim down these two sides. We should have our first wallet. So 
So there is the first one. You can see down the side here, I've got room to hole punch. And then here we have the wallet. Oh my goodness. I think that's pretty cool. So what you would do is pop your money in there. And like I said, you can make different size ones. Obviously, if you've got a bigger laminator, um, you could go bigger than A4, but the A4, you can make um, squares. You can make one that's just slightly shorter than A4. So you can keep all of your scraps in it, all your paper scraps for your card making and things. I just need to get a hole punch for this. And then I will be able to... set this up, clip it in here and it will be in my wallet. And like I said, I'm going to do some faces for these as well. So that is how we are making them. When I have got the hole punch, I will hole punch them. I will come back and I will show you the wallet completed. But for now, this is how you make um, plastic cash wallets that you can put your money in or your paper scraps, however you want to use them. They're kind of handy little um, envelopes to have if you're crafting. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think you might use them for. Okay guys, so that was my wallet making. Um, I am going to create some labels for them and obviously punch the holes in to put in my wallet and then I will give you um, a look at that in another video. Um, I hope you found that useful. If you liked this video then please do swap that thumbs up button below. If you are new here remember to put a heart in the comments so that I can give you a welcome. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I am so thrilled to see so many new faces um popping up in my emails to say that they've subscribed it's really lovely to see so thank you so much for following me and i will see you in the next one bye for now